Hello Capricorn and welcome to your monthly reading for February 2023. I've been meditating on your energy, asking that your angels step in very close to both of us so that we can get the information that you need for February 2023. First and foremost, I'm going to get you a positive affirmation for the month. This is from the Power Thought Cards by Louise L. Hay. I think it's so important to be feeding your mind and your heart and your spirit um, positivity. And so this is something that you may want to write down or keep in the forefront of your mind. Ooh, this is a juicy one. I now go beyond other people's fears and limitations. Look at those eyes. All eyes on you, Capricorn. Have you felt scrutinized, criticized, judged as of late? Well, pish posh. They mean nothing. You now go beyond other people's fears and limitations. It is my mind that creates my experiences. I am unlimited in my own ability to create the good in my life. You know, sometimes when we are uh, talking to friends and family and well-meaning people, they will um, unknowingly, um, and even from a place of love, put their own fear and limitation on us. And they may do it in criticism, they may do it in doubtful speech, um, whatever that is. Um, it does happen, and it happens to the best of us. And so it's important that we look at people who are naysaying or doubting us or, or feeding us kind of more fear-based opinions, that they are coming from a place of wanting you to be safe, but it's their fear and their limitation. And one of the best things we can do, Capricorn, is to hear them and then go prove them wrong. Because when we do that, we actually open doors of possibilities for them. Isn't it inspiring when you see somebody do something that you didn't think you could do and you choose to be inspired instead of jealous or weary? Um, whatever you see anybody else do in this world, that's just an indication that a human being can do it. And guess what? You're a human being. So you can do it. And you can be that way for other people. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It only matters what you think. And you can go beyond what other people are thinking. By thinking beyond what other people think. <laughs> All right, the next card here is the Self-Love Oracle. I'm shuffling this card and asking for Capricorn. What do my Capricorns need to focus on as far as their own self-love and their self-care this month? Healing. Oh my gosh, and I love this card because there's a unicorn on it. Unicorns to me really symbolize the unique part of ourselves, the part of ourselves that is unlike anybody else. And so, um, yeah, that's really what we're talking about is you tapping into some part of you that goes beyond, you know, what people think you can and it can be very wounding when we are when we've been around the naysayers and the criticizing people you know the critics and the judges and you know if you're intuitive you don't even need to hear it out of their mouth you can just feel it in the air right and so i highly suggest that you just detox from that and that you heal i love the card it says wounds need to be acknowledged before they can heal especially those unseen Give yourself the time, space, whatever is necessary to regain your wholeness. You need a little time to yourself, uh, Capricorn, and, and turn inwards. She's got her eyes closed as she kisses this unicorn. This is about you not looking at everyone who's looking at you. You're closing your eyes, you're going within, and you're deciding to love the part of you that is unique and different and special. You're, you know, you don't want to hide that anymore. You want to embrace it. And so um, you have to make friends with it and heal it and love it. And that is going to be a major theme for you this month. All right, let's go to beginning, middle, and end of the month here for my beautiful Capricorns, my wonderful Capricorns, my very worthy of love Capricorns. Beginning of the month, we have the night of fire. So there may be someone in your space who is a little mm, much, a little extra, uh, someone who is kind of coming at you a little bit. Um, I'm going to read this card a couple different ways. So yeah, you may be feeling like someone is a little compulsive. They're a little reactionary. And you being a Capricorn, you're a little bit more grounded. You would like to go more step by step um, more in like a slow pace and this person is pushy and, um, maybe a little dramatic and they're impatient and compulsive. 
And so what I'm feeling is that for some of you, this is a complete turnoff. You're like, oh my gosh, you seem really chaotic and erratic. Now, whether or not this person really is, is I don't know, but that's your perception. And, and this person could be judging you for being more grounded and wanting to take things slow. Now, this could be a relationship. This could also be a project at work. This could be a family member. Just you being criticized by a highly motivated, excited person for just being grounded and stable. And, and maybe you just don't want drama, right? Now, the other way I'm going to read this is that some of you may be embodying this energy at the beginning of the month where this isn't another person. This could be you feeling really impatient and um, antsy. And though you may be feeling very motivated and driven and ambitious, ambition, we, ambitious, we want to make sure that you don't cross the line into anxiety and compulsive behavior. So watch yourself. This is either you or someone you know that's just being a little... Um, knee jerky reactionary and either this is someone who's opposing you and causing friction or this is friction within yourself where you feel like you're kind of um your impatience is bugging you <laughs> your impatience and you're also bugged that you're so impatient that you can't relax okay Middle of the month, though, here, this is great. Ace of Earth talks about uh, something new that comes into your life that is very stable. This could be a new paycheck. This could be documents, contracts that you're signing. So some of you might be purchasing large things like homes, cars, things that are going to create more stability for you in your life. You could be getting a raise. This is a new business venture, um, something that is very stable. So if you are embarking on some, some something new, a new job, a new promotion, um, a new project, something you're selling, um, or something that you're signing, um, know that it's good, it's stable, it's long lasting, it's the be beginning of something really good. And so some of you might be really feeling impatient for this. You're like, come on, come on, come on, come on. And it finally gets here and you're finally like feeling stable and and happy and, and more um, less annoyed with yourself. <laughs> I just, I feel two energies here and it really could be the same person. It, it, we are so multifaceted. It is totally possible for you to be something and then annoyed that you're being that. And that very well could be that. Um, so yeah, it, it just seems like something really new coming that's stable and safe. And um, it's something you've been waiting for, for sure. Oh my gosh. And then we've got the chariot card. So it, you're definitely going places. Like something is going to take off. And I think that that's what you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for something in order for something to take off. And so um the, the chariot is like something is on the fast track, but it's the right track. And that's what I feel like the annoyance at the beginning of the month is. I, I know it's coming, but it's not quite in the right direction or there's something off. This is like a missing puzzle piece that comes in the middle of the, the month that fits in and you're like, cool. It's like you get the keys to the car, the keys to the house, or you get the, the yes on something you've been asking, or you get this money that you can finally use towards something. Maybe it's getting out of debt, something like that. But the, the rest of the month is like you're flying high and everything is good. So all this pent up energy and aggression it finally has an outlet as you finally kind of just take off. It's good at the end of the month, okay? So we, we take restless, anxious energy and we're able to um, channel it into something that is productive and healthy and forward-moving and exciting, okay? Um, the chariot card could also be travel. Some of you might actually be going on a trip towards the end of the month and the trip is really good. You, you've got money to do it. Um, something really works out. Um, it, it's like you're revving your engines and you finally are able to put the gas pedal down. Now, one of the things that may have stopped you before is maybe you've been afraid to go forward because you're afraid of what people are going to think or say or you're a little bit worried about even your own self-criticism, put all of that aside so that the universe can give you the, um, the, the opportunity to finally move forward. Cause that's really gonna, something is really gonna take off at the end of the month, Capricorn. It, it's an interesting month as I look at this because um, there's just, I, I can see a definite block here and the block is that you're caring too much what other people think. And that's probably one of the hardest things to set aside. It's it's something that you're just going to kind of have to like put on the back burner and be like, I will just deal with other people lately. Or I mean, sorry, I will deal with other people later. 
because I just need to focus on me and getting ahead and I will explain later kind of a thing. Now, I don't think you're being ruthless. Nobody's going to get hurt and you're not engaging in toxic behavior. If anything, you're just kind of going within and you're doing what's right for you. So give yourself some time and some space to figure out what it is that you really want without other people's judgments and opinions. And I feel like the universe is just going to put something into motion, this missing puzzle piece, this whatever it is that you've been waiting for. Maybe you don't even know you need it until it comes and you're like, oh my gosh, I can now go in this beautiful direction and I'm safe and I'm free and I'm, I'm having a wonderful adventure. Um, it's definitely something that you're going to feel a sense of achievement with. And again, what I said at the very beginning, the best thing you can do to your critics is to prove them wrong. And I really think you're going to do that this month. So that's exciting. <laughs> Sending you so much love, so much light and everything right. Angel blessings.